Guys, welcome to episode number 12 of the Derby Crown Red Life, and to start off this episode, we have got the game against Newcastle to kick off this episode. If you look at the table, we're currently in the top four with a game in hand. If we win that game in hand, we go, go second in the table. You think, like, we're in season three, but you wouldn't expect us at this stage to be pretty much in a Champions League race. Looking at the fixtures coming up, we've got a pretty easy run up to the end of March, then we've got Manchester United, but then it's a really, really, really good run. We've got Crystal Palace away. Then Bournemouth, Aston Villa, Sunderland, Swansea, Southampton, and then Watford. And then there's three really, really tough games to finish off this season. And then we're done. I'm considering doing another career mode. I'm not 100% sure what league at the moment. But uh, leave some suggestions down below on any teams you'd like to see me do a career mode with. Uh, probably after this December period. I may continue this Derby career mode uh, alongside it. So don't worry about that. So let's get into this first game at St. James's Park. Against Newcastle, I remember last time I think we won 3-0, so hopefully it's the same result. We are then at St. James's Park against Newcastle. It's going to be interesting to see what lineup they've gone for. I think they are towards the middle of the table. They have gone for the same formation as us pretty much, but uh, with the uh, centre forward a bit further forward. Tim Crawley goal. Um, there's a few signings in there. There's Masuaku obviously from West Ham, and then there's the upfront partnership of Asmoon and Smolnov. I think they're both Russian. League plays for sure. I'm not 100% sure if uh, Asmoon is actually Russian or not. But yes, yeah, there's a few interesting names in there. Isaac Hazen and Jack Colback. And Tim Krull still in the lineup though. Just waiting for the run of Lawrence. Oh, he's won it. He's won it off the defender. Now with the shot and with the goal, Tom Lawrence. I thought that attack was dead when he lost the ball. But uh, managed to nick it back off the man. And the Welshman has found the back of the net there in the first 20 minutes to make it 1-0. It's incredible how... He's adapted at this club, like, started off in that left mid position for years and years. Uh, well, the first two years of this career mode anyway. And then he's kind of just gone into that middle position and I'm finding him really, really good. I, I don't know how many goals he's got this year. Be interested to see if you compare him with Vidra when he was playing in that position, how many he's got. He's got six in the league, maybe he's got a few more in the cup. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying Tom Lawrence down the middle. Maybe it's somewhere um, we could look at playing him in real life as well. So after that draw against Newcastle, I'm not 100% sure if my mic was actually working at the end of that game, so hopefully it was. If not, I do apologise. If you look at the table, we have actually dropped down to 5th now because of that draw, but we're still very much in it if we get some wins against uh, West Ham and um, Leicester. We're both just above the relegation zone. We can easily get back into those Champions League spots, of course. Um, I'm just looking at our opponents that we've got coming up, and it's it's looking quite nice, in fairness, other than Man United, of course. It's a very good run till the end of the season, so we still, in a way, we still have a very nice chance of potentially winning the title. I kind of don't want to win the title because it's not very realistic, but Tom Lawrence there winning the player of the month for the Premier League. That's really deserved, as I was saying, when he did score that goal. He's been absolutely fantastic at the club. Fontana has grown to a 77 there, and that's good to see as well. Into the next game, then against West Ham at home. Hopefully we can pick up some points in this game. Tom Lawrence has won the player of the month, which is uh, really good to see, of course. I really need to win this game. We need to get back into those Champions League spots. I will. That kit's actually quite nice, but I don't think I'd ever use it um, because obviously we've got white. Um, I will give them their normal kit, I think, normal home kit. Here we are then back at home against West Ham. They obviously have sold Lanzini for a lot of money, so it'll be interesting to see where they've invested that money. We've had to make a few changes. La Celso coming into that camp position for Lanzini, obviously that very good PSG youngster. They've also got Ruben Neves holding with Obiang. Um, and then in the defence, they've got... Sam Byram, Ogbonna, Winston Reid and Holt. I'm not 100% sure who that left back is and the goalkeeper. But nevertheless, a very direct, a very uh, physical West Ham side in fairness. So I've gone for Charlie Austin up front. Ciceretti, Bellarabi and Adams in behind. Hansen in that midfield just to add a bit more quality defensively. And um, yeah, new fullbacks in low and Sesuan Cambo. Oh, ball pass from Dunk and it's in the back of the net. It's like we are fifth in the table, which just shows how good we're doing. Because the shot error is on about 2 and the pass error is on about 10. So it really does show um, how well we're doing. Like some people may say, oh, you, you, you're too easy. Like this this can't be this can't be the right settings. They are. They're literally the hardest settings possible. And we still managed to beat the better teams. Like I always struggle against the um, lower end size. The keeper has caught that cross, which was pretty poor. This looks 
Just want to see if Cicerati, if he can get the shot off. He has, and it's in the top corner. That is an absolutely beautiful finish from the Italian to find the back of the net and to make it 1-1 early on in the second half. It's what we needed, and it was a beautiful bit of skill to open up the defence. And we're back in the game now. It's what we needed. If we took any longer than that, it would have been very difficult to get back into it. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely finish from him, to be fair. Really, you couldn't get much more top bins if you tried. Ball goes into the box with the header and with the goal. Just going to show you a quick little match fact about this bloody game. They've had three shots. They literally just had the other one there, 78th minute, to win the corner. Then they went out and uh, got the ball back in. And now they made it 2-1 with 10 minutes to go. It's, oh, it's really annoying. I went for a two-striker just towards the end of the game because... We didn't really have many options on the bench due to fitness, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this formation. There it is, full time against West Ham. We have lost the game. We've really struggled with our strikers since the uh, transfer window shutting. I don't think they've actually scored a goal. Charlie Austin did actually score against Burnley in fairness, but uh, other than that, Tammy's not really hit his form. And it's kind of costing us when we are playing him. Into the next game, then against Leicester City. It is technically an East Midlands derby at the King Power. We are going to be using our black kit for this game against their bloke. Actually, we'll use our white kit. It's a derby. Like, he should be able to use our white kit. Um, so he will. And it is in the rain, which is a bit of a shame. Bellarabi's been a bit hit and miss, but I don't... I could actually put Cicero in. Yeah, I think we'll do that. May... Mm, do we change the centre-back? I don't feel like they really need stamina. That's, that's my only real thoughts on that. And... Um, even though his arrow is pointing up, he's not really got many goals recently, but hopefully he can redeem himself in this one. We got a bit of a fully fit team in the last game. We were we were playing a bit of a second string side, so hopefully we can return with a victory. Here we are then against Leicester City at the King at Power. Looking at the oh, they've gone for a 4-4-2. Badashal, I remember in the last game, was absolutely incredible, so hopefully he's not as good today for them. Gaspar, Maguire, Zuma and Derm in the defence. El Shoy, Indidi, Bora and Adama on the right. Silamani and Musa up front. It's a big man, small man combo. Hopefully they don't score against us and hopefully we can get the win. El Shari is in here. He's got it across and it's in the back of the net. That's just because of the fucking sliders that is. That's the only reason that's goal, that goal has gone in. Wisdom just uh, a little bit of a shame. And but, like that header just shouldn't be won. It's as simple as that. Like my defender should be able to defend that. But because of the sliders being that good, um, the shot error just caused... It's like... it's. If I made them too easy, though, it would just be really boring winning every game. So it's, it's nice that they're there, but it's like some of the goals are a bit aids. Just them charging it forward, so you're going to cut back and get it into Tammy. Cross to Lawrence, now with the shot, with the goal. Tom Lawrence against his former club, biting the hand that used to feed him. And we've got it back into level um, terms on the score sheet. Very nice indeed from the Welshman. He seems to be the only little bright spark in the team at the moment. Other than that, like, attacking... Attackingly, um, really struggling. Obviously, Ciceretti did get the goal in the last game, but uh, really didn't mean much in the end. A good run from Wisdom. Slid into Lawrence and uh, Badashal. Can't save that one. And it is his seventh goal this season. Jeff Swear with the volley. And there's full time against Leicester. Currently, well, ending 1-0, of course. A little bit of a shame. Again, could have done that with the win. Um, but Lawrence seems to be the only little bright spark in the team at the moment. Other than that, it's, it's really not looking too good. But it's just annoying that their goal was so down to the sliders. But like, if I didn't have the sliders where they were, it just, I'd be top of the table. So we've got a few players called up for international duty. Both Tammy and Hughes have been called up by me. Sportiello to Italy, Brown to United States. And just after coming back from injury, Matovic was being called up by Cherovic. Which, like, he just wouldn't do that. But uh, nevertheless... Next game against Manchester United. If we win the game, we go back into the top four. I've been saying for this for the last three games now. Um, but we do kind of need to win this now to even like stay into the top five. Um, because Manchester City are just behind us on goal difference. We are at home. I tend to do better against bigger teams. That's that's my little logic. I will give them... I might as well give them the red kit. And um, yeah, I just hope we have got a full fit team. That's good to see. Um... I will put Vidra on the bench because I think that little bit of quality would be nice to have. Into the final game then of the episode against Manchester United. Hopefully we can end it with a win. Looking at their team, they've gone for exactly the same formation. De Gea in goal, Bustos, Lindelof, Smalling, Darmian, Matic, Fellaini, Lingard. Not 100% sure who that cam is. Dem Demirbe, um, Martial and uh, Lukaku up front. There's a few players that, like Bustos for example, I'm not 100% sure why he's in the team and their cam. But other than that... Pretty much a full fit uh, Manchester United team to play against. This is 
Ooh, Tammy's won the ball early on off Lindelof. If he can go around small and get the shot off, and he has with the goal in the first five minutes. Tammy Abraham back on scoring ways. We needed that. We needed an early goal against Man United. Just unsettle them completely. And that's what we got. Lindelof dicking about and um, Tammy Abraham wins the ball off him with his power and pace. Beautiful finish as well to find the back of the net and to make it 1-0. Really can't complain with that. Really poor from there. Pogba's got the ball on the edge with the shot and with the goal. It's fucking mistakes that just cost us so many things in this. It's ridiculous. Like, why did Kerr commit so much there? Like, that's auto-defending. And then, I uh, should have really got in front of him. The Frenchman comes off the bench and gets his 11th goal this season to get him back onto 11 term. This is going to be really dangerous. And I uh, just called it. I called it. I knew it was going to be dangerous. And it's against his former club. Tom Lawrence gives away a penalty. He won't throw that with his head. That's the annoying thing. As you can see, like, I want to... Oh, why are you going with your head there? The ball's on the floor, mate. Romelu Lukaku to take all three points away from us. Kerr has got the injury. He saved it. Thank God for that, Sportiello, you lovely man. Oh, don't fucking... Oh, my God, I nearly gave it him. I nearly gave it him. He just saved the penalty. And he just had to save that as well. There it is, full time against Man United. Another point. I'll take it. Other than that attack, I don't think we had many chances that we could have scored. Close-ish one here, but like it just it wasn't really much of a chance. Like it just blocked and then the Hedge positioned himself quite nicely. And um yeah, they probably deserved the point, especially saying we um saved the penalty. So I think we will wrap up the episode here. We have had a bit of growth to Adams, which is nice to see. I probably will I Instead of playing Vidra, I probably should have put Adams on, but I thought I'd just give Vidra a go because he's about to go into the international break. If I didn't use him, then he probably would have got more injured, if that makes any sense. But I probably will just simulate these games. Still um, got a chance to obviously do the Euros at the end of the season, which isn't too far away now. If you look at the table uh, calendar, I mean, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 games left of this save. And then we got the Euros. And then we probably got another season. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. A bit of a shame we couldn't get a win in this episode, but a few points here and there. It's just kept us in and around. Like, if we get a win, we can go back up to second. We're still very much in it. There's not much of a problem. Defensively, though, we're, we're conceding quite a bit. But we are the best, second best, second best scoring team in the league, just behind Chelsea. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Leave a like if you did enjoy it, and see you soon. Bye.